You cannot take the Kelvin or the intensity from a PubMed research study on welders, the flashpoint of a welder or a glass blower, and then say that a near infrared sauna emits the similar output. I think it's bullshit. This is something that I would never do. I would never present a study like this or even link to it when in fact the controls, the equipment, everything about the situation is completely different. It's just far reaching and a stretch. But most people don't know any better. They're just like, oh wow, look, you know, look at this. It was written by so and so and they must really know what they're talking about. I'm not saying that these people aren't smarter than I, but I'm not seeing any real world evidence in the majority of this that leads to some danger piece where it's like, oh, we should stop doing that. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should go and do this. I'm saying this is not what you're supposed to do. I'm trying it. I don't know what I think yet. This is not advice. This is not a recommendation or anything like that. You know, I used to have uh, high-tech health saunas on the certified sauna list because they were one of the options that had ceramic heaters, which I always liked as long as the heater layout was good. Uh, but they had electric fields mitigated whereas the health mate didn't. So I preferred the high tech health over, you know, the other options. That said, over the years, you know, I don't personally know, like at the same time, I don't have any control over what these sauna companies do. I don't own them. It's not like I dictate, you know, this, that, and the other, or the opinions or the stances or how they choose to do things or operate. If I did, I would have them do other stuff. And that goes for almost all the companies. Like I personally would change a couple of things whether it's product based or whether it's customer forward facing like interaction based i would change how they do stuff and that's pretty much all the brands even the ones on the certified sauna list so please understand i have no control over what these people do i don't know them personally you know some of them i get to know uh, because they either have good products or they've taken care of you know customers really well for many years so, you know, I like to have a relationship with them. So if I have issues or somebody else has issues, I could just shoot them a text or an email and be like, hey, you know, can you help with this? That's, the, that's how we see the best results, really. Because otherwise, you're just dealing with like no-name stuff from no-name people. Can't get any help with anything. Well, this is kind of the exact opposite of that, right? These, I don't know what the deal is with these people. I'm not sure if high-tech health, you know, went through some type of transitional phase, but five years ago... I had a good experience with them until they started doing people around with the pricing and doing weird stuff. Like if you called in all of a sudden, you know, I was saying for years in videos, um, you know, you could get this or this particular type of sauna or for X price and everything was fine. Then all of a sudden they started doing this thing where they were, you know, screwing with people. If you would call in, it's like, well, if you're a part of so-and-so's doctor network, which is part of our preferred blah, 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 blah. You know, we could give you a better price and they would tell you the price and then not give it to you. And it's like, I mean, I, I would send them email. I tried calling. I was like, guys, you cannot treat people like this. This is for one thing. It's just weird, right? No one, if I called somewhere and I was like, Hey, you know, can I buy something? And you were like, well, you could actually get it cheaper if you were part of so-and-so. And then it's like, Oh, but sorry, I can't, I can't honor that. And it's like, why would you do that to me? Like, I'm just going to go somewhere else. The hell with you. So I don't like that. I don't buy from places like that. I didn't like the complaints. No one really was quick to respond. I called the guy that I knew there, Tristan or whatever. He was just like, oh, you know, blah, 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 blah. There was real no movement, right? There was no response that gave me confidence that anything was changing or that customers, you know, would do anything different. And I didn't know any of the other people, so I just said the hell with it. You know, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. The other thing that happened is this kind of shit, right? I think this is bullshit, um, and I'm going to show you why. And I've done these videos just for Facebook group members in the past, but for some reason now Facebook doesn't want you to find them because I just searched for them myself, and I can't find it, and I'm the one that posted it, and I'm the one that recorded it. So here we are on a Sunday trying to find the same information from several years ago, but when stuff like this, you know, starts happening, it's kind of like, to me, this is min misinformation, all right? When you talk about near-infrared sauna dangers and you talk about things that can cause cataracts and an increased risk of skin, uh, you know, cancer, and then referencing PubMed studies, eh, this is a far, you know, reaching concept. Some of this stuff has been altered since the last time, you know, I did this for somebody because there were direct links in here to the actual studies, which is basically what I chopped up and said, you know, this is complete bullshit. You cannot take 
the Kelvin or the intensity from a PubMed research study on welders, the flashpoint of a welder or a glass blower, and then say that a near infrared sauna emits the similar output. Now I see that it distinctly says there are no infra <laughs> no peer reviewed studies on this, only near infrared lasers and LEDs to target local areas. So this is much better at this point in time. In the past, that is not what this said. Uh, it would talk about you know, other things like cataracts and everything else. People get really freaked out, right? People get super freaked out. So let's see what it says. Friend or foe. This is UVB, UVA. Those aren't emitting that at all. 760 nanometers in one millimeter. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think red light therapy is uh, premature aging the skin. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through all these things. I just glance over them and see what are the controls what are the sources like this infrared radiation and cataract? I mean, this is a hell of a thing to reference because the first investigation included 208 iron and steel workers and 208 controls. I mean, why do you think you wear a welding mask, right? Do you think anything is that bright in your sauna? Because I'm telling you right now, have you ever seen somebody welding you know, in a warehouse at night from like 500 yards away, you can see the whole skyline flashing, right? Do you see anything like that where people are using a sauna? I question why somebody would position such a thing other than just a hit piece or fear mongering or something to rope you in, you know, utilizing additional stress, fear, of worrisome, you know, about you taking a worrisome action that's going to harm your health because of you know, X, but oh, by the way, our company has something that doesn't have that. See what I mean? I, I feel like this is disingenuous. This was kind of the slippery slope of, you know, me not liking these, you know, I say these people, but I don't even really know who they are. It's not like they were friends of mine or anything. But as I said before, I don't choose to act like this with people that I know or people that I don't know. So it's very difficult for me to continue to stand behind a product or an organization or anything like that that behaves in this way i just i think it's bullshit and i think it's nonsense i really do you can't like this is something that i would never do right so i don't know what else you want me to say i would never present a study like this or even link to it from an article about saunas telling you not to do something because it may increase your risk of cataracts when in fact, the controls, the, con the equipment, the exposure, the everything about the situation is completely different. It's just far reaching and a stretch. But most people don't know any better. They're just like, oh, wow, look, you know, look at this. It was written by so and so, and they must really know what they're talking about. Right? I'm not saying that these people aren't smarter than I, maybe they are. But I'm not seeing any real-world evidence in the majority of this that leads to, you know, some danger piece where it's like, oh, we should stop doing that. We, 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 we shouldn't use near-infrared wavelengths anymore, right? That's insane. Because on the flip side of that, you have people, look at the podcasts, look at the Red Light Therapy podcasts. You have people who are specifically doing the exact opposite of what they're told, not wearing eye protection. I don't know if you can see them, but I have four, yes, four red light therapy panels hanging from the ceiling over there that I've been testing myself. And I've been doing exactly what you're not supposed to do. I've not been wearing eye protection. And just like those red light therapy podcasts, those folks healed things behind their eyes by doing that, by not wearing the eye. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should go and do this. I'm saying this is not what you're supposed to do. I'm trying it. I don't know what I think yet. This is not advice. This is not a recommendation or anything like that. See the difference? That is, that, that's the proper way to you know, do this. But guess what's not happening at the end of this video? I don't have a product or own a company where I'm trying to sell you the opposite. Right? That's, that's the part where I think it's disingenuous. When people start doing this or when they start behaving in this fashion, I kind of am like, you know... I think I'd like to separate myself from you, right? I don't really care at what cost because whatever it is that you're doing 
is not something that I would do. And so if you start down this path, where does it end, right? Now are you going to start making changes with the actual product, not just in the way that you treat people that goes in line with this dogmatic way of thinking that you, you, know, you have in these hit pieces? Because you're showing me who you are through all of this, through the way that you're, you're treating others. And I can see the writing on the wall. This isn't my first rodeo. I've been through this with other companies. And typically, you know, because it starts to work for them, because they'll use fear to rope people in and say, oh, you shouldn't buy a clear light or you shouldn't buy a sunlight. And it has that harmful, you know, red light, th- or, uh, near infrared or full spectrum in it. You should, only, you should only use far infrared. Oh, by the way, our sauna doesn't have any of that harmful stuff. It only has, you see what I mean? So I'm not really a fan of uh, baiting and switching people like that because that's what I think it is. What is this? I'm getting off track because I'm talking. It's 15 rabbits. I don't know if I'm really going to take that seriously. <laughs> now, this I actually agree with. If you have a GE lamp model, you know, 250R, 5010, I don't know if that's a European model or what, but I'm familiar with these bulbs. And the heat output from something that has a peak wavelength of 15 to 1600 nanometers is, in fact, not something that you would want to have aimed at each eye at close distance. Part of the reason why is because it transmits heat, very, very hot surface temperature at really close range. But you're going to be super uncomfortable. You would not stay in that situation very long because your body is going to immediately tell you, hey, we need to get the hell out of here because this this isn't a good thing. Now, I do believe that that is, you know, or potentially could be damaging with a high likelihood of definitely being damaging, right? That is very different than uh sitting two or three feet away from a patio heater right because a quartz halogen emitter can have a similar peak wavelength right it may not have the same visible outlet output because it's not an incandescent bulb so there's a little bit of you know poor overlap there but it's something that's something that i would take a little more seriously and actually pay attention to but the problem is none of the saunas that are being talked about have this in it right So immediately, I think this is something valid to keep in mind, to look into, but not applicable to the equipment in question. I'm sure some of this has merit, right? I'm quite certain that all of these, you know, are not worthless. Whether they apply to particular saunas who are competitors of these people who wrote this article or not, I have no idea. But a lot of this is going to reference photo aging from sunlight. See... Temperature increase 970 mill, uh, nanometers, light emitting diode, which is an LED, 80 milliwatts a centimeter squared would measure at the e, DE junction as a function of time in minutes. Well, <laughs> if, it's, if it's 80 milliwatts a centimeter squared where the probe is, that is incredibly high powered. That's not six inches away. That's not a foot away. That's not two feet away. That's not three feet away. That's like damn near behind the eye you know not actually but uh pretty close what's a hydro sun 500 just out of curiosity what is hydro sun 500 oh my lord an ultra high powered holy shit some type of specific treatment good lord well yeah i I would say that you would need eye protection for something like this you see what i mean i don't know if this all this is accurate or not but here we are down some rabbit hole that has nothing to, there, there's no device like this in any full spectrum sauna. And there's certainly not anything like this with a depth gauge on it to make sure that you, you see this right here? Do you guys even know what this is? This is a depth gauge. So when they do a laser treatment on your back, there's like safety protocols so that <laughs> you only get so close to you and it doesn't burn a hole in your skin. But here we are. Of course, there's going to be photo aging from a device like a hydro sun. I didn't even know what that was. It's claiming that these wavelengths, 760 to 1400 nanometers, from 10 to 60 minutes with a high fluence range, of course, there's going to be issues. Of course, if you found that in a sauna, that would be a problem. Now, I see this. I didn't pay attention to it at first, but now I understand the relevance of these particular heaters on the bench here. So this is a GE bulb. This is a quartz halogen emitter. It looks like it's from a clear light sanctuary or something similar. There's a bunch of brands. And this is a rod tube, right? I'm not sure if it's a heater or I can't tell because the grill has been removed. 
but these are not going to produce what we just looked at, right? Sure, does it produce something in that wavelength? Absolutely. Is it spot focused and extremely strong? No, absolutely not. We're not gonna sit here and, because see how I'm getting derailed? Like I'm now I'm on some laser that a dermatologist uses to burn things off your back, right? We're just, we're taken down this rabbit hole, which is completely off course of what we should be focused on today. And this, I mean, maybe it's going to help a few of you that buy into the fear mongering and stuff like that, but really we're not doing anything to, to that we should be doing to improve today, right? This is, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time on making, you know, other videos on this stuff. I will talk about it if you guys have a specific bullet point that you want me to compare. Like if you look at these studies and you say, you know what, Matt, this does seem like it, ha it has plausible you know, merit or there, there could be something here. Can we take a look at it and talk about it? Sure, absolutely, no problem. But if it's just this crap you know, where one brand creates you know, whatever they, their narrative is to try and you know, make themselves look better than another brand because their narrative is different and all this. You see, this is what I've found over the years is that the sauna companies go to war with each other. We're kind of stuck in the middle. And then there's so much bullshit to sift through, you can't decipher what is what. And so a lot of times, like me, I just ended up doing nothing 10 years ago. I was like, well, this is crazy. I'm going to go about my day. And then I would just never revisit it. Unfortunately, I didn't get the health benefit and I'll never get those years back. So we, you know, we're paying the ultimate price when that occurs, which is what I don't like. And it's also why I get, you know, you can tell I'm kind of irritable. I don't like this. I don't want to do it. I've been rubbed the wrong way by some of this information. It's not something that I would choose to perpetuate. Uh, and if I did, it would be, you know, contextually matched up. So I want to make sure that if we're talking about a harmful wavelength, that the equipment in question has the ability to produce that wavelength at that intensity, at that distance for that set duration of time that's expected to cause the problem. Because if not, we're literally just talking in the wind. Remember, I said I was a fan of the product. I've always liked the product. think they're good. Unless they've changed something, they're probably still good, right? I don't know. I don't, don't look at it anymore because I can't stand this kind of stuff. And I don't really want to be associated with people that choose to operate like this. That's it. There's a lot of this fear-mongering stuff out there. I myself, I'm sure, have been a culprit, you know, part of the problem at one point or another just out of being naive or misled or... You know, I used to write tons and tons of articles, and a lot of it was about the, the poor findings that I was finding at the time. Some of it ended up being wrong. Uh, the people who trained me just, you know, weren't as good as I thought they were. And then years later, I would find out that, hey, this isn't accurate, and then I have to go back and fix it or change things, kind of like in this case. And some people don't like it when I do that, but you know what? Once I see what it is, right, and now, you know, my knowledge base is so much greater than it was a decade ago. So I don't make simple mistakes like that anymore. But once I know about something, how do you expect me to just go on and not say anything or not change anything? So it's kind of a double-edged sword. A lot of times people don't like it. Um, and I understand both sides, but I have to do what I think is right in that particular situation. And in this particular situation, I don't think it's right to say that a glass blower or a welder or a dermatology uh, laser device is going to have a similar output as a full spectrum sauna.